Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing Hollow Knight, and I want to show you how to defeat the Traitor Lord, and also where to even find the Traitor Lord. So, first things first, Charm Loadout. I'm going to be going with the Quick Slash, Sharp Shadow, because it is super helpful if you can dash right through him. I highly suggest doing this after you've already gotten the Shade Cloak, and if you don't know how to get that, I will leave a link down in the description below because we're going to be dashing through him the entire time. Uh, Mark of Pride, and of course, the overpowered Wayward Compass. So we're going to be starting off at the Queen's Garden Station. So to show you where we are, we are right here, and we're going to start by making our way up. So let's get started. We are going to go up one room this way. So right here, if you haven't done so, make sure you hit the switch, and we're going to keep going up just a little bit. And I'm not going to lie, this little part right here where we start doing the platforming is kind of tough when you have Sharp Shadow, because you have that 33% extra uh, dash distance, but it's super helpful. It's also nice if you've got uh, ooh, your double jump before you try doing this too. There we go. Keep dropping it down. So you can also just fall straight down. Ooh, right there. I always miss that. I always miss that. Let me know in the comments if, if you messed up this platforming as well. Ooh. All right, so as you can see, I took a little bit of damage before I even got to the Trader Lord. So if you're like me and you're having to do this over and over again, go ahead and set yourself a dream gate right here. And it's going to make life so much easier if you have to come back and do it again. So let's go ahead and get started. So from here, we're going to go one room left. And you need the shade gate just to get through here anyway. So there you go. I completely forgot about that, but I'm, I'm glad I told people about it. You gotta do some more platforming. Just like that. There we go. And as soon as we jump up, that's gonna be the battle, so you might wanna put the gate right here instead. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie, I died once before I got here, so let's go ahead and jump right in. That's why that gate is so important. So we'll fight these guys, and they got roughly the same attacks. And they always spawn in in the exact same spot. So you can pretty much just jump over them for most of their attacks or, or just tank them real hard. And then here we go. Trader Lord will drop right in. And whenever he does this, we'll dash right through. If he jumps up, just walk towards him. Dash right through. Dash right through. Jumps up, walk towards him. Jumps up, walk towards him. Dash right through. And it's pretty much what we're doing most of the time until he starts to slam into the ground. But Sharp Shadow is going to help a lot. Here we go. He goes into the ground. See, it's hard if you need to dash twice. That's the one thing with this guy. Dash through. There we go. Dash through. And he doesn't even dash that far when he does go forward. There we go. Dash through. So sometimes he'll do that move where he walks towards you and it's super annoying. There we go, just dash through. And just like that, he really only has, he's really got four attacks and one of them he didn't even do that entire time. So he has a ranged attack, but as long as you're staying close to him, most of the time it doesn't even do that attack. So if you found this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe for even more Hollow Knight tips, tricks, and how-to videos. Again, my name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more soon.